No. He's starting out. Oh is going instantly. So we're here with the AE students at Schweitzer Elementary and right now our students here are working on this really fantastic robotics competition that we're lucky enough to participate in um, due to a $1,500 mini grant. And these robots are called Dash and Dot and they are built through um, a company called Wonder Workshop. And through these robots, these kids are learning all sorts of skills like cooperation and problem solving. And most importantly, they're learning about coding. And so every week when they come into library, what they're doing is, is they're working on different missions. And one of the missions that we're working on right now is this mission over here, which is mission two. And um, they have to create the code that solves the mission in front of them. So right now as part of the competition that we're working with, and this competition is teams all around the world working together, and this is their mission right here, and they have to start their robot on a certain part of the grid, and then code their robot to go to different parts of the grid and do a variety of things. We're gonna get him to um, move uh, forward, so then you can go over to that cup, and then we'll get him to turn around, and then it'll say hi to him, and then he will um, go forward and move the trash into the thing, and then kind of to like celebrate, it'll have like a little eye like thing, like where his eye. Like, yeah. Is we we like we like how how we always learn from our mistakes in trying yeah. about this, and also. Actually, pretty much we won't, we like all of it. I mean, yeah. j just the thought of trying to do the missions is fun. I think it's cool how the robots can move and do stuff because of what you did. So our goal is, um, this mission is called Tower of Trash and we have to get the robot to push the cup that doesn't have dot on it, which is this little guy. And uh, the one, and it has to be, is random. So you have to, uh, and it has to work for both locations with the same code. They both are like, they're different locations and you have to have the same code. So if you wanted it to move 80 centimeters for one, then if it was 20 centimeters more, it would have to move 100. And it has to be the same code, so it doesn't really make, didn't really make that much sense to us in the beginning. So it's really about how you set it up, and then one of us would have to get them off or like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like how we get to work with robots and learn about technology and coding. That was always one of my favorite things to learn how to do. It's usually just like a game where you control a character, but in this it's like you actually control like robots in real life and they actually do stuff. Yeah, when I get older I want to be a robotics engineer so it's good practice. So when I applied for the Nishamini Education Foundation mini grant, um, I really thought about, you know, a product that would be useful not only for my fourth grade students but also for my kindergarten students and it's always kind of a challenge to find something that's going to work for all. And the kids are really excited, they've been really engaged and motivated and really excited to come to AE every day and tackle these missions.